Honor Ronan Munegun was a pioneer of Catholic education in Ireland despite legal prohibitions. She founded the Sisters of the Presentation of the Blessed Virgin Mary, commonly known as the Presentation Sisters. Nan Nagel was born in the Blackwater Valley in County Cork, which possesses views of the distant Nagel Mountains. Much of this region was once the property of Nagel family. Dana Nagel is believed to have attended a local head school, like her cousin Edwin Wood, before she traveled to France to complete her education. The Education Act of 1695 banned Catholic school teachers in Ireland while also prohibiting traveling overseas for Catholic education. Nagel relatives with strong connection in France arranged for Nagel and her sister Anne to travel to Paris but have smuggled in a cargo ship. They finished their schooling in Paris while Nano enjoyed a busy life in Paris. Ball parties, glamour, theatre outgoings in the life of a wealthy young lady. After one of these parties, she noticed a group of French-looking people huddled in a church doorway and who was struck by contrast with her privileged life. In Dublin, Nano and her sister joined their mother witnessing further poverty. Their mother died soon after and Nagel returned to Paris, intending to enter an Ursuline convent, but a religious director advised her to help the poor of her own country instead. Nagel's first school opened with about 30 students and later it became the site of South Presentation Convent. At first alone and later with the help of a family uncle, Joseph Nagel, who had used Protestantism to preserve the family's wealth, she established a network of Catholics in Kirk. Not everyone in Cork welcomed the establishment. She was, her students were dismissed as beggars and brats. Nagel died from tuberculosis on 26 April 1748 in Cork City at age 69. In end, I would like to end my speech by a quote by Nino, by degrees and assistance for God, we can do a great deal. Known as the Lady of the Lantern, Nano carried her lantern through the dark streets of Cork City, Ireland guiding the lost, the sick, the elderly, and the marginalized. Risking their own lives to transform the lives of others by offering hope, love, and compassion. In the past two to three years, we all experienced a horrifying nightmare. COVID's pandemic. The pandemic snatched away millions lives. The pandemic affected each and every person, either financially or socially. People fought for their lives. In those difficult times, most of us didn't dare to help others. But what if Venerable Nan Nagel had been alive during those tough times? What would she have done for the society? Let's see. It's 2020. COVID-19 has been declared a global pandemic and a strict lockdown has been announced. Venerable Nan Nagel is currently residing in Srinagar, India. She is sitting in her room and watching some devastating news on her mobile. This is all so devastating. This COVID is spreading and mutating so rapidly that poor people are dying out of meditation. Something must be done. Nana calls her dear friend Selena and asks her to meet her. Selena, thank God you're here. What happened now? You look quite tense. Is it all oh, right? No. This COVID is spreading and mutating so rapidly that poor people are unable to find even a room in the hospital. Prices of medicines are going up to the black market. I wonder how the poor will manage. This is indeed an extremely serious matter. The situation is getting out of hand. People are fighting for their lives. But what's the remedy for this? Aren't we people distributing medicines and vaccines among the needy? Ah, we can also sponsor oxygen cylinders for a hospital. You know, this will cost you a fortune. I know, but I can't just sit idle and watch people die. Please help me, won't you? Yes, I will. I'm always with you. Tell me. First, we must arrange the money to buy medicines and vaccines. And oxygen cylinders as well. Mm, I think we can buy 100 packets of paracetamol, antibiotics, sucrazine. And we can also sponsor 25 oxygen cylinders. What would be the run of Certainly, it takes out a calculator and does the calculations. Tell us approximately. Oxygen cylinders don't come cheap. But how we going to reach the money at this time, Nana? We will sell this antique furniture in a house. But it's miserable. It has so many needs. You can't sell it like that. Sell I will have to sell it. We need to take the poor. Please, you take this and it in the market. Buy it on the system and ask for help. Okay. When they will land, hands over the key of the house.
half to seven and heads to presentation corner. Yes, please. Good morning, sister. Good morning, Nana. Tell me, how can I help you? Nana narrates the whole story. We need some financial help, sister. Could you please help me for part of this noble deed? I salute you and sister Selna for your selflessness. On behalf of PCHSS, we could organize a virtual charity program and the views received would be contributed towards your noble mission. And you're so much fun. It might be approximately around 2 lakhs. That's great. Thank you so much. That's okay. When the neighbor now reaches her home where Selena is already waiting for her. Here I sold it 4 lakhs. So Selena said that they could organize a virtual charity program and donate 2 lakhs of these. Mm, I think I can also contribute 2 lakhs. Um, I would request David, Joseph and Uncle Joseph for the money. They will definitely help us out. That would be great. David, Joseph and Uncle Joseph, along with PCHSS, help with Rainbow Nam. Nam succeeded arranging the required amount of 10 lakhs. When Rainbow Nam and Selena brought medicines and oxygen cylinders and distributed them among them, David, Joseph and Uncle Joseph, along with PCHSS, help when Rainbow Nam. When Rainbow Nam succeeded arranging the money of required amount of 10 lakhs. When Rebel Nano and Selena brought medicines and oxygen cylinders and distributed them among the needy, they visited contaminated zones looking for those who don't have any proper facilities. One day, they saw a girl crying bitterly outside a hospital. Please help my brother, he is severely ill and I have no money to cure him. Please help me. I'm sorry, the hospital is completely full and you might not even have the required money, so we can't get him. You better go and fix some other hospital. Please help me, otherwise he'll die. We need a room for our daughter. She has contacted food. I'm sorry ma'am, the hospital is completely full. Here, five bags in cash are in the room. Sure sir, of course, please get the patient. <laughs> Seeing this discrimination, two hospital staff members started gossiping. God help! People in positions of responsibility must act as lifesavers. But this manager is an exception. He has been ruthlessly using this epidemic to amass wealth. When I was a kid, I used to ask my mother, when will the evil age come? And she used to say, when humans will become the evil of each other. See, the evil age has started. Nano and Selena witnessed the whole scene and rushed to the girl. What happened here? My sister has contracted COVID and no one is admitting her in the hospital. There is no one in this world without her. Don't worry, nothing is going to happen here. Please take us to She is admitting.
which had a missionary dimension. Though this kit was imaginary, we all are 100% sure that if Venerable Nano Nikal had been among during, us th during those tough times, she would have done even more than this. There are many things which we can learn from Venerable Nano Nikal. Selflessness, love for even strangers, kindness, helpfulness, holiness, faith in God, and sympathy for the poor. There is a dream our God is dreaming. Will we dare to dream the same? From the dark, we take up our lanterns and love ignite the flame. During the COVID pandemic, when every single person was suffering, either socially or financially, no one except a few lent a helping hand to others. Everyone turned selfish and greedy. If we all would have stepped ahead and helped others, then probably we would have conquered the virus long ago. Moral of the skit, learn to help others in the true spirit of NAN. Let us invite and encourage each other to contribute to help the poor. Generate sympathy and love for all in your hearts. Dare to follow Venerable Nano's vision with conviction, courage, which must enthusiasm, commitment and dedication. Inspire from the life of this poinary lady and take a step to help those deprived. This world yearns for a human like Nano, wake up from the darkness of selfishness and end this world's weight. Be like Nano, the lover of poor and children. When you learn to give away then only, you will be able to get more. Light the lantern and keep it burning bright. In Srimad Bhagavad Gita, Shri Krishna says, Labhante Brahma Nirvana, Rasya Kisna Kalma Saha, Jina Divinda Yatmana, Sarva Hityarataha. It means those who are beyond the dualities that arise from doubts, whose minds are engaged within and who is busy working for the welfare of all living beings, achieve liberation in the Supreme. The Nasri Mela Panjwa, Aukhi Kadi Na Dekhar De, Apna Brit Samale, Haat De Rakhe Apne Ko, Saha Saas Brit Pali. It means he never lets his devotee see his difficult time. This is his innate nature. He protects his devotee with each and every breath of his. Here is a quote from the Bible, Luke 3, verse 18 and 19. The Spirit of the Lord is on me, for he has anointed me to bring the good news to the afflicted. He has sent me to proclaim liberty to captives, sight to the blind, to let the oppressed go free, to proclaim a year of favor from the Lord. You must do homage to the Lord your God, from alone you must serve. 
In the Quran, Allah says, "Wata awanu alal birra wa taqwa, wala ta awanu alal isme wal udwan, wata kullaha inna Allah shadidul ikab." Which means, help one another in acts of piety and righteousness, and do not assist each other in acts of sinfulness and transgression. And be aware of Allah. Verily, Allah is severe in punishment. Helping each other is a way to overcome grief, and it can empower us in our worship to Allah. Therefore, it is one of the principles of our faith to help our fellow human. Love one another. Spend yourselves for the poor. Be grateful for what you have. Extinguish the blazing fires of audacity, ignorance, rudeness, unkindness, and jealousy from your hearts. And adapt qualities like optimism, sympathy, empathy, and optimism. Help others to live a blissful life. And follow my motto: deeds, not words. May the lanterns light that you mind in the hearts of venerable Nano Nigar sparkle in us. the feeling of helpfulness and kindness so that we serve ourselves for the poor and needy so far with her head held high connected with god it's her time to fly she is on a mission to complete her vision nothing can stop her she had made her decision with her heart on fire and mind of gold she achieves the impossible she changes the world some call her the lady of passion some call her the lady of love but i called her nano neighbor the lady with the lantern dear nano you spoke for every woman and we stand with you you know poverty of poor and we stand with you you planted the seeds of education and we stand with you thank you venerable nano neighbor for lighting the lanterns of hope if you had not been there then maybe we the presentation family wouldn't have come into existence you are the sole reason behind the formation of the pchss network you dream of loving an optimistic world will surely come to one day the icon must be viewed not only with the physical eye but also with the spirit of the eye we can follow venerable nano's story as it unfolds and explodes through the symbols of joy and pain energy and stillness success and failure agony and ecstasy